You know, Jenny, I'm so happy you showed me how to help Benny with his mouth cares. It's good to feel like I can do something to help him. Yes, he does look more comfortable. You do understand that these are comfort measures, Jan, don't you? They aren't going to treat or cure him. Yes, I know. I'm just relieved that I can do something and that he looks peaceful now. I feel like I'm actually starting to come to terms with things now. I've had some great chats with Father Michael. He came and spoke with me for quite some time yesterday. Jason and Rose were there. It was a beautiful afternoon. Warm, but comfortable, and so quiet here, except for the sound of the birds in the garden. Father Michael administered last rites for Benny yesterday. I thought it would be quite traumatic, you know, acknowledging the end. But it was beautiful. Benny was semi-conscious. I feel sure he knew what was happening, though. Of course, I don't know. But I have a strong feeling he understood. He seemed relieved, like a weight had been lifted off him. Jason and Rose were there, too. We had a nice conversation about it afterwards, and the kids said their goodbyes to Benny. It's so strange. I don't feel at all like I thought I would. It seems surreal now, like I'm walking along this strange path and I'm on autopilot. I'm coping with things I didn't ever think I would cope with. Benny's my rock, you know. How could I cope without him? But I am, we are, the kids, all thanks to Father Michael and the team here at the home. I feel hopeful that maybe we'll get through this and be able to support each other when the time comes. That sounds beautiful, Jan. I'm so pleased you and your family have found some peace. You have a wonderful family and some great support networks around you. This pump seems to have settled, Ben. Yes, there's been a big difference in Ben's comfort levels. This pump gives a set amount of painkillers and anti-nausea medication every hour. The nurses will be checking the pump and Ben frequently now. Sometimes, at the end, the breathing can become noisy. If that happens, the nurse can give some medication to dry up the secretions in the throat to stop the sounds too. I know this sounds like a silly question, but how will I know he's died? He seems so still and peaceful at the moment. I have to check that he's breathing regularly. Towards the end, his breathing may become different. He may take one big breath and then nothing for 20 to 30 seconds, or his breathing may become so shallow it just stops. Either way, it's very peaceful for Ben. He's unaware of it. He's slipping in and out of consciousness now, not just sleeping. It tells us the time is coming soon. Is there anyone else that you would like to be here? I think now might be the time for anyone that wants to see him to visit. He has a sister that lives the other side of Australia. She's flying over at the moment. Do you think she'll make it? To see Benny before, you know? It's a strange thing. I've seen it so many times. People, even when they're unconscious, will wait if they're aware loved ones are coming. They'll stay alive against the odds to see their relative and then pass away peacefully as soon as they're aware they're visited. I've seen it so many times. How strange. I've heard that before too. I hope she makes it in time. You know, I was so angry with Benny when he decided he wanted to come into the aged care home here to be cared for at the end. I really wanted to look after him and care for him at home. I think Benny knows me better than I know myself though. I think he knew that I wouldn't be able to cope alone at home with him dying. I'm sure I could with the practical things, washing and dressing, but it's the emotional care that I just can't seem to manage. I just think I'd end up crying all the time. Benny really doesn't need that. You know there were so many options discussed. The palliative care teams discussed how we could care for Benny at home. They had all this equipment to supply. Beds, hoists, toilet chairs and all. I know that Benny would be physically cared for. They would listen to Benny and me talk for ages about our worries and concerns when Benny was at home. They were so respectful and seemed to understand what Benny wanted, but also what I wanted and how I was thinking and what I was needing. But I think emotionally we made the right decision for us to come to the aged care home. So that Benny can relax too, I think. He'd be more worried about me than himself if we stayed at home. It's great here at the home. When I go to my house at night, I know that you all advocate for Benny. 
and follow his wishes in his advance directive and his care plan. That is such a big relief for both me and Benny, knowing everyone in the team understands our story and is acting on his behalf, the way he wants things. The team here have been great. You know, I think I've had more in-depth conversations with the team here than I've ever had in my entire lifetime. It's such an important choice where you want to die. So many things to talk about. I think for the two of you, you made the right decision. It's so important to see the entire picture of someone's journey. What works for one family may not work for another. I'm so pleased you and Ben feel settled here, Jan.